Hi guys. So for a long time I've been looking for a dedicated battery discharger. I've been wanting one because it's fairly common for me to get home from the field with fully charged packs that I didn't get a chance to fly. And I know that everybody has chargers that can discharge their batteries, but I think I just fried one of my Thunderpower 820 chargers because I was trying to discharge too many batteries in a row and it just got too hot. I even had a fan over my uh, chargers when I was discharging, but uh, this one just didn't like it. So from here on in, I'm gonna be relying on this little $15 discharger to um, take over the responsibility for discharging and let the chargers do what they do best, which is to charge the packs up. As you can see in the video, the uh, unit came very well packed. There's no way it's going to suffer any damage in shipping. The only hassle are the uh, white wires that you see here that are leading to the 350 watt light bulbs that uh, provide the load to draw down your packs. I'm going to end up with a few of these so I'm going to make up a jig that will uh, make it a lot tidier. As you can see here the battery connector is a Dean's or a Dean's clone connector and if you don't use Dean's like me then you're gonna have to make up a little connector or maybe get one from Hobby King that uh, will work with whatever battery connectors you use. So what's with this cheesy piece of 1x2 you might ask? This is just a temporary jig just to get the, keep the bulbs up off the uh, tabletop. They do get very very hot and I have read where some people that have used this device have actually uh, melted their work surface and it could lead to a fire. We all know it's probably a pretty good idea to stick around and keep an eye on your batteries while you're charging them and in this case discharging them. With just the three buttons this unit is very easy to get the hang of very quickly. And again, to review its functions, its uh, first role is a voltage checker. Its second role is a battery balancer or lipo balancer, and it'll uh, take care of balancing your packs. The third role is the one that I bought it for, which is its discharge function. Uh, this will allow me to take the pressure off my more expensive chargers and use this very inexpensive device to draw down the packs that I don't get a chance to fly. Stay tuned uh, for a video that's going to be coming up fairly shortly that will show you the difference uh, in some destructive testing that we're going to do on a couple of 5S5000 packs. One that's fully charged and another that's at storage charge and I think you'll be quite impressed at the difference. And it's why I'll never keep packs that are fully charged in my home or garage and uh, why I actually feel quite comfortable storing lipos that are uh, at 3.85 volts per cell. So here you see it just in its role as a voltage checker. It's the same as any voltage checker you've already got on your uh, flight bag and it just gives you individual cell counts through to 6S and total pack voltage. And here it's doing its job as a balancer. It's just looking for the uh, lowest voltage reading across all the cells and then it matches up the other ones with it. And now for the good part. This is what I bought it for. We're going to use it to discharge a LiPo and we'll walk through the very easy steps. So it's simply to connect the balance connector. A little bit tight, which is not a bad thing. And you can see that we're sitting at uh, about 417. 418 volts. Then we link up the little uh, circuit board, plug in our battery, and then we go down to the control unit. So we're going to toggle through and we're going to check our discharge voltage and it's sitting at 3.86 which is just fine. So you go back uh, to the cancel button to get back to the main screen and then press discharge and you're away. You'll notice throughout the discharge cycle that the uh, circuitry modulates the power driven to the light bulbs so that uh, 
you're going to see them in various states of brightness as it uh, goes through the, the discharge cycle. It took about 20 minutes to draw down a fully charged uh, 2250 3S LiPo down to 3.86 volts. And I will say that it probably will take that long again if you want to get it to one decimal place, but if you're willing to accept two decimal places, which is two one hundredths of a volt, uh, 20 minutes will do it just fine. Well, as always, I'd just like to thank you very much for watching and to let you know that I did put a link in the video description to where you can buy one of these and also a link to a thread on RC Groups where a bunch of people that are much smarter than I am will uh, take you through the steps required to build one of these. So uh, if you're electronically inclined, go for it. So take care and be well and we'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.